Hello everybody, my name is EK and wow, it's finally time, you know, that was actually not a pun intended, but I'm going to just stick with it. Wow, we're playing wow. You know, this is a game I have played before, I have to be honest here. I have played a little bit of retail and I have played classic up until level 31, I do believe. I was playing an Undead Warrior and I wanted to kill myself while leveling that because it was just that bad. But the season of discovery has kind of reignited the passion for me where I really want to try and get back into this game especially because the level cap is also level 25 and there are new things in the game right now there are new skills there's new content there's gonna be a new raid and I just kind of like having the ability to play classic but kind of in like a new look you know so today we're just gonna be checking out classic and yeah this is gonna be the continuation of my MMO Monday series uh, it's gonna go up on a Monday, probably after all the Diablo videos are out the door, but we'll have to see how that works. Anyway, uh, just like in that series, I'm gonna be cutting together some of my thoughts about this game, and uh, yeah, I'll probably have quite a like quite a few cuts at the very start, but then cut more and more as you know we're getting into the thick of things. Anyway, uh, I have just created this character. This is uh, Ek. I wanted to do that on on camera, but I kind of assumed I would get into a massive queue, but I just created my character. I logged in immediately and we are good to go so i have given myself a proper beard you know i like how when i look from the back it's like just like this little line like it looks really weird so we are a gnome and we are a a warlock so the reason i went gnome is because you know in in go was 2 forever i have mained a certain elementalist and if i wanted to play something mage like i wanted to do it on a gnome because you know that would then kind of fit as well I don't know if Gnome is any good for Warlock, but hey, we'll figure that out as we go. Um, I was also thinking, like, you know, do I want to go Horde? Do I want to go Alliance? I've played Horde a bit. I've played Undead for a bit. And I've not really played Alliance, like, almost at all. So here we go. Anyway, let's talk to this guy here. Sten Stoutarm. Hi. And he's going to give us a quest. He's telling us the world is sturdy looking one. Uh, perhaps you can assist me in a thing or two. Not much help around here except for green apprentices and they've got other things to worry about. So Dwarven Outfitters. You look as though you might need something to keep your hands warm. Hmm? I'll tell you what would help. A pair of nice warm gloves. And being the kind soul that I am, I'd be more than happy to provide you with a suitable pair. I've one condition, however. I need you to go get me some wolf meat. Nice arrangement, hmm? You bring me some nice wolf meat and I'll make sure you don't lose any digits to frostbite. Well, what do you say? So, eight pieces of wolf meat. I like how the first quest in this game we have... Wait, do we have, like, our arms up, like, in a weird way? Why do we do that? So, what is this? Quest log. Okay. I will keep the tips open. I'll just scan through them in case there is something that I don't know about. Because I'm not well-versed in, like, the more complex systems of the game. But, obviously, I know how the combat works in general. So, uh, one thing I'm immediately wondering is... I, I didn't start last night because it went last... Sorry, it went live last night. And I decided that I'm probably not very well off starting. But he resisted my first ability. That sucks. I thought to myself, we're probably not that well off if we just immediately start when everyone else is starting. Because then you run into the issue where there are going to be people, you know, contesting kills everywhere. And that's not going to work out very well. So we have a lot of pop-ups here. So combat mode. Yeah, sure. Ability, sure. Looting. Yeah, I know. Backpack. Yeah, I know. Okay. We have drinks over here. We've got refreshing spring water and we got a forest mushroom cap. Now, our mana seems to be doing fine. I remember playing mage a little bit back in the day as well. And uh, the thing I remember from mage is that uh, you had to just constantly sit down and, and drink. And with warrior, you had to sit down and eat. So I'm hoping that warlock isn't as resource hungry as the mage. So I can just keep going. Ah, and that is level 2 out of 25, and the quest is done. So quest completion, you've completed your first quest. To collect your reward, you should return to the character who gave you the quest. Yes, sure, we will do that. All right, so he's given us some gloves here, some rabbit handler gloves. Now, the question is, with this current armor I have on, will we see the difference? So I think we're not wearing any gloves right now. And there we go. We now have some nice green gloves. Ah, we have gotten ourselves a nice little cape here as well. There's so many people running around here as well. And I'm looking for this particular mob, the Rockjaw Trog, not the Burly Rockjaw Chog. Um, wait, I totally mispronounced that right there, but that's fine. Um, but these mobs seem to be getting killed quite quickly. And this is kind of what I was, was expecting playing this game, honestly. You know, just expecting there to be a lot of kill contestion. 
Uh, I think there's going to be a quest from Motherhead on the Reddit. I did do a quick scan of it, and I noticed that apparently there's going to be a quest as well where uh, you're going to have to kill one quest mob and people are forming a proper line. So there's a decent chance that this video is going to contain a lot of skipping as I have to wait around for things to respawn. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that treats me. Ah, so these people seem to be forming a line. It's not particularly long, but I'm assuming these people are all forming a line to grab a quest mob of some kind. Oh crap, we're actually in close quarters combat. Can I can I actually beat this guy here? I think I can. Okay, we seem to be fine. Ah, level 3 is in. I also quite like this ability. The demon skin thing increases armor by 40 and restores 3 health every 5 seconds. Especially because I only have 73 HP. So getting 3 health every 5 seconds... For 30 minutes straight, with no real downside, that's just amazing, because then I kind of only have to worry about mana, really, at least at this point in the game. Telling me about a chatting now as well, you know, we don't do chatting, we are not the social person around here. We are here to kill things, to level up, and to get the sick loot. Actually, that's not true at all. I really do like the social aspect of these kind of old games, but when I'm recording, I don't really like being social, because then I have to focus on other people. And I want to just be able to focus on just chatting away into my microphone. So I'm wondering now if the Rockjaw Trogs only spawn around this camp. Because that would explain why everyone is just kind of camping here. And I never see anyone, any of them up. Like I keep seeing the burly ones up, but not the non-burly ones. Also, I'm very much aware that there is, you know, a lot of add-ons that would make my life a lot easier. Uh, one of them being Questy, where all the quests are located on the map perfectly fine. And I am definitely going to look into potentially using those later down the line when, you know, I just need to do more questing. But at least for this first hour, first couple of hours, like just this first recording session in general, I want to get as classic an experience as possible and then build up from there. So I will not be using any add-ons right now. And no, this guy's taking my mob. Damn, damn you. Damn you, Valgrim, the dwarf paladin. Because I do think there is something quite nice i guess about having to actually read the quest text and the way i want to play this game on at least this first character is just feel incredibly immersed you know i just want to be in this world i want to absorb the world i want to read the quests i want to properly do the quests i want to do side quests i just really want to you know absorb myself into the world especially now that there is only level 25 as a cap like i don't have to worry about hey you know, I need to keep on grinding because there's going to be a lot of hardcore grinding in front of me. No, the level cap is going to be fairly easy to achieve. So I can really feel like I can take my time without feeling like I'm falling behind friends or anything like that. Because the level cap will be achieved pretty easily anyway. And that feels nice. Alright, that is a new threat and the troll cave both done. So let me go and hand them in. So why exactly are we getting knives when we are playing a caster? Wouldn't we be getting like wands or staves or something? Or do they just use knives in general? Or maybe we're just not getting any of the appropriate weapons just yet. And these like just, you know, always there for every single class. I'm not quite sure how that works. Uh, more healing herbs. I don't really want healing herbs. You know, I I need to find a place to sell my items because I'm, I'm full on items. And I'm thinking I probably don't want to just drop them because I want to have... The ability to get some gold and be able to buy something with that. So I'm going to look for a vendor and then I'll hand in the quests. Alright, the inventory has been cleared. Fortunately, there is a general supplies guy over here. And I think I just want to pick up some refreshing spring water. So I think I'll just pick up like 20 of these just so I have something to go on. Because I noticed when I was running out of that, I had to wait longer in between fights. Because I had to naturally regenerate instead of using items. So I guess just having these always on me is probably a good idea until I can upgrade to whatever the next tier is going to be. Right, now we can go ahead and do the other quests too. All right, I have asked people now if this is the place where I need to be. Let me engage my social ability. Oh, someone said no to me. Oh, damn. I guess I was wrong. I need to be elsewhere. Ooh, I got myself a new robe. Let me check it out. Bam! There we go, you know. Obviously, our very muscular shoulders and arms being fully uncovered will now give us more armor than previously. I like it. You know, I'm really liking how I have to read this mail or this quest. And it says, um, if I remember correctly, Grelin's camp is down the road to the southeast. So, you know, I actually have to position myself to the southeast and then 
start walking there and, and make it to the camp, which I think is a very immersive experience. And I can totally understand how it gets really, really annoying and, and boring in a way, especially when you're replaying the game or when you have to do a lot of different quests in a new area. But especially in these early levels, I'm really enjoying the level of immersion. It's really nice. All right, that cave definitely looks like that would be the place where I would hide a boss mob amongst the troll-like mobs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to go here. See, now it's kind of a good thing that we have so many people here because that allows me to make it to the back of the cave where I assume the mob I'm looking for is located. Like, I'll still clear the mobs out on my way that I encounter, which is giving me some nice experience, but also, you know, just make sure I don't get overwhelmed by multiple mobs and die. Because I want to try and die... Well, I want to try and not die uh, for as long as I can, which hopefully is going to be this entire video. Oh, I don't have the mana for this. Oh, no. I'm going to have to melee him. Come on. Let's go. Let's keep stabbing him. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. Here we go. Keep stabbing. Come on. Come on. Keep stabbing him. There we go. He doesn't have mana either. So we're now in a stab fight to the death. I can use my, my ability again, but I refuse because I am in a stab fight with the Frost main novice. This guy is the ultimate boss of the game. And here we go. We've taken him down. The game has been completed. Oh, wait. This is him. I found him. Oh, no, but I'm going to get hit by other people. I don't know if, if he hit him first or if I hit him first, but I'm just going to commit to him either way. It was me. I got it. I don't know if this guy was waiting for it, but the mob aggroed me, and uh, I take no responsibility for my potential actions. Maybe I just, like, sniped it, but there's not that many people here. Like, I just imagine there was a line of, like, 50 people just, like, waiting out here or something, and I just, like, snuck around, took the thing, and ran away. So, yeah, this, this game, as far as I'm aware, the way uh, Classic works is it is very much built around the idea of you having to actively, you know, group up with players, seek out their help, uh, make sure you, you tackle things together. And I really do like that. I don't know how much of that is still going to be in this game because, you know, communities used to be formed inside of games. Uh, now, quite often, communities will be formed outside of the game, you know, on Discord or on Reddit or, or someplace else. And... Um, also, of course, because this game is now quite old and people have been expecting this, and most people probably have their, you know, their group of, of retail players or something, and they'll be going into this game together. And they have like all these things planned out, like, you know, I'm going to be playing this class, you're going to be playing that class. And um, yeah, I can totally see, you know, some of this game's fun being kind of taken away by that. But I'm going to try and make sure my experience, because I'm not playing pre-made with anyone right now, uh, I'm going to try to make sure my experience is as fair and as much classic as possible. Here we go. We have your journal, good sir. Wonderful, EK. Many thanks for retrieving my notebook. Well, it would seem that the troll situation here in Quadridge Valley is under control and not much cause for worry. After I put the finishing touches on my report, I'll need someone to courier it to my brother's senior. So we can choose either a staff or a shield, but apparently we can't equip either. So I'm assuming all these quest rewards are completely standardized. They're not class-based, not race-based, or just, hey, this quest gives these rewards, doesn't matter which class you have, which it does kind of make sense in a way. Uh, nowadays, you know, the newer games, they will all give you items you can actually use. Like, you know, if you're playing something with a sword, it's going to give you a sword. And I kind of like how this game doesn't do that. It's just like, hey, these are the quest rewards. If you want to do the quest, these are the rewards you're going to get. Obviously, we're also getting experience, which is very nice, and a bit of money here and there. Uh, but I quite like that as a as a design decision. Of course, um, you know it it it's not smooth, but it's I guess in a way realistic because those are the weapons he has on hand. Speak with Mountaineer Talos before going through the tunnel. It's completely infested with trucks now. Follow the road back to Anvilmar, then keep heading east to the tunnel. Talos is stationed nearby. I think I do also have to go to Anvilmar. Anyway, there is not a quest over there. Uh, it is a timed quest, though, where I have to run somewhere within five minutes, and I don't even know where I'm supposed to run towards. So for now, I'm going to just leave that quest. I don't want to, you know, force myself to do anything super quickly. I'm going to take my time, explore, chill, and yeah, maybe I'll go back and grab it at some point, but probably skipping one random quest isn't going to do too much. Also, I kind of like the idea, you know, we're level five right now. Uh, we're already one-fifth to the level cap. Now, obviously, that's only in absolute levels and not in relative experience because, you know... Every level is going to take more and more experience out of you. But just the idea that probably a couple days into this, this playthrough, I'll be approaching level cap or maybe even hitting level cap. That is in, in a way kind of nice. So is this the entrance to Envilma? 
I have never been here, I think, because I don't think I've ever played Gnome yet. And Volmar, here we go. What is this place like? So we got this big, cool furnace in the middle. Kind of like it, the quest giver here. Is this the entire thing, or is it going to be much more? Because I do remember some of the other places being enormous. Like, the Undercity was enormous. There's nothing like some scalding morn brew and a chili done or something, something. Oh, hot, hot, hot. If that won't put spring in your step, I don't know what will. Can I sit on this chair? I need to target something first. There we go. I'm now impressive. You are now looking at E.K. the Wise. E.K. the Grey. Uh, this is the guy we have to go to. Oh, this guy's got like a nice bear claw for the floor. Sir, you must have slain an enormous bear. Oh, it's a warlock trainer. Okay, cool. What is he going to teach me? So, uh, first of all, we got the quest where we have to deliver something to him. You must be the new warlock everyone's been whispering. That laughter was crazy. Must be someone's taken a liking to you if they've asked me to take time away from my research to start your training. Don't worry, I won't hold it against you. The simplest of summoning spells you will learn is that of the imp. Before I impart this to you, however, you must prove that you have the necessary magical and physical ability. Bring me three feather charms from the Frostmane novices from the caves to the southwest. I have just gone there, and I've just killed some of them. I killed their leader, and now you want me to run back there again and kill them again. I guess I should have picked up the skill earlier, but we're going to get the summon imp ability, which looks very cool to me. I think I have Let seen that a bit. Now. We also get stolen power. I've been experimenting with a new type of magic, a rune. Oh, this is the new system. Okay, okay, cool. A rune which can channel fell energy to fuel powerful spells. I would share this power with you, but it was stolen by one of those pesky trogues. There is a camp of those rockjar vermin to the southwest. See if you can find my runes stashed among their possessions, likely in a chest of some kind. Once you find it, learn its magic and report back to me. I would like to see my experiment put to use. So recover the runes from the group of trogues southwest of Anvilmar and use it to learn a new ability, then return to Alamar Grim in Anvilmar. So we will learn the spell Engrave Gloves. Okay, so I guess the, the thing is called Haunt and it's going to be able to engrave our gloves. It says, unleash a ghastly soul on an enemy, dealing 27 to 32 damage and increasing all shadow damage over time you deal to that target by 20%. When the Haunt ends or is dispelled, you'll be healed for all the damage it dealt to the target. That sounds pretty cool. And we will also receive some gloves, which I guess are the same we have right now, but hey, whatever. That's fine. All right, let's go do those quests. Actually, wait, I can also go to the... I'm interested in Warlock training. Ah, and now I can learn some other abilities too. So, what do we have here? So, we have Affliction abilities and we have Destruction abilities, whatever those are. So, Immolate says, burn the enemy for 10 fire damage, then an additional 20 fire damage over 15 seconds. So, I think I'm going to grab that one because I want to be able to open up with that ability and then chain that into my shadow bolts I guess uh, corruption what does it do corrupts the target causing 40 shadow damage over 12 seconds another dot so I can apply two dots and then be shadow bolting cool running out of money though and then we have this one that, that I can't afford just yet actually can I sell stuff to him too I can't okay that's fine and we have this one curse of weakness Damage caused by the target is reduced by 3 for 2 minutes. Only one curse per warlock can be active on any one target. That sounds quite cool on boss fights and stuff, you know, to make sure the tank stays alive. I don't know if this is going to be useful or if it you know, doesn't scale in any good way, but it sounds quite interesting. Alright, let me go do some quests and I'll see you guys in a bit.